Hi everyone, welcome to Korean Express YouTube channel. So here comes the part 5 of our video series in which we are learning house related terms in Korean language. If you have not watched the first 4 parts yet, then you can go and watch them on Korean Express YouTube channel. In this series, we are exploring a wide range of topics from rooms and furniture to household items and more. Okay, so let's start with the fifth part. Here comes the first word and that is address. And in Korean, it is called Chuso. Chuso. Next comes the Korean word for mailbox. And that is Upyonham. Upyonham. Now let's see how you are going to say fence in Korean. And that is Ultari. Ultari. Okay, next comes the Korean word for electric light and that is Chondeng. Chondeng. Okay, you might be thinking why have you used the word electric light? So here we are talking about the light that is present in our homes or in buildings that comes from electricity. Okay, now you may find other words for light like pit, pull, like that. So there are slight differences between these words. Pit, it refers to light in a general or natural sense. The natural light is pit, like the sunlight. Okay, pull generally means fire. Mul, water, pull, fire. Okay, so pull means fire. But you can also refer to lights when discussing turning them on or off using the word pull okay so it can also refer to the lights that are present in our homes but we usually don't use the word pull all the time the general the literal word for electric light is chandang okay so three words are there pit pull chandang and there are slight differences between them but you don't need to worry about that just keep this in mind okay Okay, now next comes the Korean word for study and that is Sajae. Sajae. Now if you don't know then study is a kind of room in a house that is used for paperwork, computer work, writing or reading. You know these kind of things to relax your mind, to relax yourself. So that is the role of a study room in a house. Okay. Alright, next comes the Korean word for trash can or garbage can and that is Siregi Thong. Siregi Thong. We know Siregi is the Korean word for trash or garbage. Okay, so you just have to add Thong to make the word translate into trash can or garbage can. Okay, next comes the word for dining table in Korean and that is Siktak. Siktak. Next, let's see how you are going to say sink in Korean language and that is Sinkhide. Sinkhide. Okay. Here comes the next word and that is carpet. And carpet in Korean is Kapet. Kapet. It is a Korean loan word. Right. Next comes the word for toilet. And in Korean, it is called Pyeonggi. Pyeonggi. Alright, so today we learned a few words related to house in Korean language. I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe Korean Express YouTube channel. Thank you.